Okay, this video is blood labs in vegans versus meat eaters. Okay, or really, you know, other diets, sad diet and all that. And so the gist of it is that they're better for everything for the vegans. Okay, they'll have lower white blood cell counts. Meat causes a generalized systemic inflammation, elevates white blood cell counts for multiple reasons. Increased risk of leaky gut, postprandial endotoxemia, increased risk of xenocyelitis, and other causes. Um, the plant-based diet, you'll have lower CRP, that C-reactive protein. And there's a couple reasons for that. It's classically thought of as being just an indicator of systemic inflammation, but it could be other things. Gregory Sloop, the best atherosclerosis researcher in the world, thinks it's primarily a myokine, and it's sent out related to the muscles not being able to replenish their glycogen adequately. Um, total cholesterol is higher in meat and processed food eaters compared to uh, vegans. <clears throat> LDL cholesterol is higher, uh, VLDL, very, very low density lipoproteins, triglycerides, they're all higher. All the blood lipids are higher compared to, when I say vegans, I mean low fat vegans, okay? Um, they have more fatty liver, they have higher hemoglobin A1C, you know, more diabetes. Uh, meat eaters, processed food eaters, they've got more, uh, they're fatter. They got more, a higher uh, body mass index, BMI. They'll have worse kidney function typically. Um, a higher blood urea nitrogen. Um, they, of course, have more atherosclerosis, so heart disease, myocardial infarction, uh, impotence. <clears throat> they have more leaky gut due to lack of dietary fiber, so they'll get more stuff getting across that intestinal barrier, postprandial endotoxemia. They'll have a lack of dietary fiber, so they get more abdominal pressure syndrome. So that's the joke. The vegan diet's better in every single way. I'm not aware of a single way that it's, that it's not better than a meat or a processed food diet. It's like a no-brainer. I've been a doctor over 30 years. Out of everything I know, the vegan diet is the most powerful thing. And I can tell you, when anybody studies it, they come to that conclusion. Okay, so this painting is a bit of a joke here. The idea is, what is the downside of uh, going low-fat vegan? And this is the Greek myth of Narcissus, who, once he saw himself in the reflection of the pond, he fell in love with his reflection, and he couldn't walk away, and he eventually uh, starved to death. Okay, And this was um, the nymph uh, by the name of Echo. And she fell in love with uh, Narcissus. But she had been punished by Hera, you know, Juno, the wife of Zeus, when she had sort of helped one of her nymph friends have a little philandering with Zeus. And she sort of distracted Hera and kept her busy. Hera is Zeus's wife. And so Hera got ticked off at her and took her voice away and only let her echo the last thing another person said. So that's all she could say. And she wasn't able to get the attention of Narcissus. So anyways, the joke of it is that the only real side effect of the vegan diet, yeah, you got to take B12, but other than that, you're healthier, your body weight's more optimized, you look good, so maybe you'll make your spouse jealous. And um, in addition to what happens is you're skinnier than the rest of your fat, meat-eating, processed food-eating family, so you're probably going to be a little colder. They got more subcutaneous fat to insulate themselves. Um, so that's about it. So the bottom line was that the meat-eaters, and the processed food eaters, they have worse labs for everything. There is no, they have no health benefit. It's not like a close competition, five to four is a score. No, it's like 100 to zero. The meat, processed food, low-carb carnivore, paleo, keto, it's all a big joke. It's a big trick to uh, keep the paroles fat, sick, and stupid. Um, so, I mean, this is about as good as you're going to see. They actually think that white blood cell count should be lowered. Instead of being 4.5 to 11, that it should be lowered to something like three to nine. Um so anyways, cholesterol is a major risk factor for heart disease, coronary artery disease. So anyways, hope that was helpful.